Hey there. If you want to do a categorical data analysis, but you have a continuous variable on your hands, what do you do? Let's classify it. If you are learning R, use this video to challenge yourself. First, we'll look at the distribution of a continuous variable, systolic blood pressure, from a real-world data set. Then, we will create a categorical variable to classify it. And then, if you stick around until the end of the video, I'll show you a trick to get R to calculate any percentile of a continuous variable you want. Hi, I'm Monica of DeathLynch Professional Services, and I teach public health data science. If you are new to the channel, welcome! And if you are returning, thank you for coming back. I try to post a new video every Friday at 10 a.m. So don't forget to be a regular visitor so you can be the first to check out my new video every week. Today, I'm going to demonstrate a real-world data set called NHANES using our GUI. If you want to learn more about NHANES, read my blog post about NHANES. The link is in the description. As you'll learn in my blog post, the NHANES data and documentation come from this online portal. The NHANES is one surveillance effort, but for whatever reason, they split up the data into different data sets. For this demonstration, we will be using one of the examination data sets. We'll be using the data set called Blood Pressure Oscillometric Measurement. As you can see, you can read the documentation under the doc file heading and download the data from clicking under the data file heading. Let's click on the documentation. Here we get to the data dictionary. For this demonstration, we are going to use the continuous variable BPXOSY1 which refers to the first systolic blood pressure reading they do in the examination because they take the blood pressure more than once. This is the continuous variable we are going to classify. Okay, here we are in our GUI. If you want this code I'm using, just click on the link in the video description to go to my GitHub folder. Make sure you download the code r one underscore zero four underscore zero seven underscore make cat var. As I showed you before, we started with the NHANES blood pressure data set, which is called p underscore bpxo.xpt. I imported that into our GUI and named the data frame blps underscore a. Okay, let's start by examining the distribution of this continuous variable. First, I want to look at the distribution of our continuous variable bposy1. So you can see I use the hist command to make a histogram. I'll run this. Okay, here's the histogram of systolic blood pressure. Can you guess where the median is from the distribution? Well, you don't have to guess because next I'll show you the quantile command. Next, we have the quantile command. I had to add the na.rm equals true option to have r suppress the empty variables. Let's run this and look at the console. We see the quartiles in the console. What was your guess for the median? Well, the answer is the 50th percentile, which is 117. Looking at the distribution of a continuous variable before you classify it is a good idea, which is why I ran both the histogram and the quartiles. Hey, if you ever want advice about public health or data science, schedule a free 30-minute Zoom appointment with me using the link in the description. And don't forget to follow me and the Deathwench Professional Services company page on LinkedIn. But for simplicity, today we are not going to make data-driven classifications. We will use empirical classifications. Here are the classifications we are going to make. Normal, elevated, and hypertensive. And here is my code to make the categorical variable. I named the variable BLPSGRP. See how in the first line I set the variable to 9 for unknown. Then I update that value to either 1 for normal, 2 for elevated, or 3 for hypertensive. See how I set the criteria based on the original variable in brackets on the left side of the arrow? Then, to check my work, I follow it up with a two-way frequency between the new categorical variable and the original continuous variable. Yes, you heard me, a two-way frequency on a continuous variable. Let me run this and show you how that works out. Okay, let's scroll up to the top. See our column headings? That's our new grouping variable. And on the left, we have our continuous variable we are classifying. Our first classification was normal, which is below 120. Let's see if we recoded it right. Okay, see what happens at 120? It switches to the second column. And then for elevated, 
which starts at 130, it switches to the next column. So we know we did our recode right. What strategies do you use to make sure you recoded a variable correctly and it doesn't have any errors? Put your advice in the comments. If you like this content, please be sure to hit the like button because then my videos will come up in your feed more often. Or better yet, hit subscribe. It's free and it really helps me out. Thank you. Okay, here's the special trick I promised I'd show you, and that's how to get any quantile you want. Remember the quantile command defaulted to showing us quartiles, but what if we wanted quintiles or deciles? We can add an option. So let's say instead of quantiles, I want tertiles. I can add the probs option. See how I included it here? I put probs equals, and then a numeric vector of values that go from zero to one, and take a stop at each of the percentiles I want. For tertiles, that's 0 0.333 and 0 0.666. Let's run this and look at them. And there are our tertiles in the console. Fantastic. Now challenge yourself. Try it with quintiles or deciles. Want to continue your data science journey with me, an experienced professional, at your side? Take my online course, Application Basics, and learn business application terminology demonstrated through unique case studies so you are empowered to divine novel insights from analyzing application data. Better yet, register for the workshop. Click on the link in the description to access the course and workshop. And don't forget to follow me on the socials. Links to all my social media accounts are in the description. Let's stay connected because you never know where your data science journey will lead. Have a data emergency or just need advice? Remember to let Deathwinch do your data.